What's up, guys? So my last post was talking about limiting the rotation and thinking quiet body, loud hands. So this player, just to give some context, he's worked probably the last two or three years, probably the last four or five years, huge home runs, like 25 home runs in a season. Um, but he would always work on like in his dorm room or his apartment of rotating and uncoiling and doing the right moves, which is right. But he ended up doing like the bonds move or like the judge move too much. Um, so there's a, there's a saying too much of a good thing is always too much, too much chocolate, too much red wine is too much, right? You can always get too much. So he ended up coming off the ball. His front side would end up pulling a little bit too much and his barrel would drag behind him. He ended up having to start early. It was, it was kind of a, uh, of a small mess. Uh, just because of how good he is, it was just some inconsistencies. So what we did with him is he thought, you can see in it, like his stride and everything, when he thought stride, get full max stretch, get everything set, then once he landed, no body whatsoever, all hands. And if we watch this swing on the right, this is a great example. If we watch this swing, let's watch him, let's keep this down. Let's watch him swing just full speed. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, he's feeling, once he gets to this position, once he gets that foot in the ground, do not move the body. It's like someone pours concrete on your head. It runs down your body, and it's all hands. You can see, obviously, obviously, he moves his body, right? But if he doesn't think that, for that time frame right there, for the last month or two, if he doesn't think that, his body's gone, and his barrel leaves behind him, and he, and he forgets what hits the ball the bat. Uh, so we really had to get that cue down. So it's like, what's your approach? Uh, my, my approach is to think nobody, all hands. And when he thinks that he can execute anything he wants anywhere on the field, anytime on the field, when he thinks that it's awesome. Some players need to think the opposite. They need to think all body, no hands. Like Josh Allison used to talk about, uh, maybe five, 10, six, whatever years ago. Um, some players need to think that I have some players that think that in order to achieve what he's doing right here. Like, obviously this is very, very elite. This is a very, very elite swing. You would not believe how many MLB players or just players in general, pro players, college players, like, man, I'm coming in. I want to look like this. But what's crazy is they might have to feel to look like this. They might have to feel all body because they don't use body enough. Or they might have to feel like him where it's like, hey, I use body too much. I need to dial down the body so my hands can kind of play um, instead of using too much body. Hope that makes sense. Now, here's a really good thought. Now, here's a really good video. You guys will love this. It's kind of rewind. Let's just watch this. I'm not going to say anything. So obviously those moves are special. Same moves you're going to see in the World Series, same moves you're going to see in the All-Star Game. Those are the Barry Bonds type swing moves. See how short that is? Short with his body. You can see he's obviously rotating. See how, see how everything squares up to contact? Like that is special. But he knows if he does not think quiet body, like shut it down, his shoulders and everything are going to be angled and turned too much. Too much rotation, too much open. Um, and his barrel is going to be behind him and his shoulder is going to be way too out front. Uh, this is to help him stay square on the ball longer. It's, it's what's crazy. If you watch this swing, like, man, he's turning so well. It's actually really weird because he's trying not to turn. Um, that's what's crazy about hitting. That's what's crazy about context. There's so much in there. Um, and this is what makes uh, hitters great is no matter what you see from them, you never quite know what they're feeling or what they're thinking. Some, uh, some players really need to feel loud body or not loud body, but rotate, just so their hands don't play so much. This player used to rotate so much, his hands couldn't play. Lack of kind of swing and miss a little bit everywhere. Um, but his, uh, this is very, very impressive. Hope this works, hope this, uh, hope this works for you. Hope you can try it out if, if you need it. Um, give it a chance and I really appreciate you guys, thank you.